hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you on how to create some stylized low poly rocks so let's get started let's delete the cube first and you can press shift a and import uh, icosphere here we go now you can go down to the left bottom menu and apply the subdivisions to one and then uh, right click there we go now what you can do is go into wireframe mode by pressing z and then change the vertices around a bit so just uh, move the vertices to however you like just move them to get a simple rock shape i guess just like so you can move this one a bit up move this one a bit up just like that and there you have a simple rock all right so another another tool that you can use to make some low poly rocks is a uh, the knife tool so import a uv sphere just scale it down like an egg s and x just like so uh, s and y and then you can go over to edit mode and go under this knife mode you can go to bisect and then you, as you see this line just uh, select uh, there you'll see the circle now you can click on clear outer and then fill there we go and fill and then and select this line again then clear outer and clear inner and then fill there we go then select this line again i press a and select this line again then clear in clear outer and fill there we go so you just do this until you have a simple low poly rock mesh. Alright, and there we have the simple rock. So that there we have a rock, and then here we have a simple icosphere rock. You can uh, there; those were the two ways that you could do it. Now you could use the magnet tool in here, and just move these two vertices, just like so, just like so, just like so. So you create a simple shape about this rock just like that if you wanted to and then you can press uh, on a and then m then by distance there we go here you there you have a simple rock now what you can do is uh, click on this uh, material properties go to material properties then click on new then under base color click on image texture then go press z and click on material preview there you have, see it's black now and then click on new name this uv1 then make the size to 4060 4060 and then you stand up blank click on uv grid there you go now you see you have a uv grid now you can click on a u and smart uv wrap there we go this looks better you can do the same with this one as well click on new base color image texture and then click on new uv2 and then here click on smart uv wrap there we go now you can click on this one click on file export fbx then uh, for texture rock there we go on selected ob objects and now you can go over to Substance Painter. All right. Once in Substance Painter, you can click on file uh, on new, and then select your file. So for texture rock, here we go. You can click on OK, and here you see your file. Right. First off, you can go over to Texture Set Settings, and then click on Bake Mesh Maps. You can untick ID. 
make the ambient occlusion to 256 and min occluder to 0 0.48 curvature to 2.56 and this to half as well then click on bake selected textures now you just have to wait all right there we go now you can go over plastic and then you can click on plastic matte there we go and now you can select a gray color for this one so go over to base color and select a bit of like gray just there now you can uh, make a folder name this up and name this down drag the one up there we go you can make this basic matte pure uh, under the down and delete this layer one there we go now you can click on copy layers and then go to up and then paste layers here you can uh, have a bit of white I assume and then under this you can add a white mask then you can go over and add a generator and then select curvature there we go you see now it's looking a bit stylized uh, yep and uh, you could have deleted this if you wanted to but now we haven't so let's make the you can change the global balance if you want to or you can have it like uh, like that uh, this looks nice I assume well that is how you create stylized rock thank you all for watching and see you for more